Somebody shall amen. amen. I want to get you understanding that we enter into a serious dimension of prayer. That tonight I'm going to prophesy to you. Somebody shall amen. amen. Lift up your hand. Say, Lord. Lord. Tonight. Tonight. Locate me. Locate me. By your power. By your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now come, your man, come, come, my prophet, come. The prophet, run to me, come quickly, quickly, fast. I saw what the prophet was praying. I saw an angel of God was carrying your hand, carrying your hand to walk into a certain door. While he was praying, I saw an angel of God took his hand and he took him and he was walking into a certain door. And the Lord Minister took that a new door is going to open for you in the year 2023. Yeah. Your amen is not strong at all. Open your mouth, pray, release into that door for him in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. We leave that door. Open your mouth. Leave that door. Zada. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Leave that door. Zadi Gaba. I will release it. We 
open the gate for him, open your mouth and pray. Mali Gada, Mali Gada, Zabuna, Igado Zada. Release it, release you to that realm. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now take your seat quickly. I want to be very fast tonight. I'm going to enter into a serious dimension. Father, you are here. You are going to encounter power. Somebody shout power. Power. Somebody shout power. Power. I want to bless God for such a privilege. And I want to thank God for my friend. Uh, Commander has been my very old friend. We've been together in two ministry years back in West Africa. And we've been traveling to many countries around the world. And I know the kind of grace he has. They are level every in the kingdom. There are grace people carry. Somebody shout amen. Amen. And it's good to appreciate everybody and the grace he has. There are people God has endowed them with songs. And there are some people God has given them a certain mandate. And there's a very special mandate she carry. And I cherish it. Let's jump our hands together for our Father in the Lord. Give God a big round of applause. Give God, if you appreciate the oil upon his life, it shall be a blessing to you. Clap better, clap better, clap better. Next year we have a lot of plans we're gonna to come together. And don't mind, I don't mind the crowd. For us, for him, you see, I've seen thousands of people. As I preach around the world where you see thousands, but five thousand, six thousand. And we have come to a level that we don't allow crowd to move the anointing. Amen. I don't allow crowd to move me with the oil. Sometimes when you see crowd, there are some preachers, it's when they see crowd, the oil comes. And when you be in the ministry and you have the grace, you don't allow crowd to move you. I was, I was in England. I called the man of God to join me. There was a heavy meeting we were doing in England. And she carried some special oil. He came there. It was a massive. And I'm going to join this place. Come 2023, we're going to do a meeting. I think he has made mention of it called Exodus. That people's lives shall be delivered. Amen. And I'm doing also a meeting in Toronto, Canada. I also I told him, I'm going to do it and people will fly from New York, from different places. We, we want to imagine it. It's the purpose of the kingdom is to bring deliverance and freedom for people. Somebody can amen. Amen. Let's say he too will join me in Toronto. It's a conference, a mega conference. I'm going to also usher it. But tonight, we are staying up this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, get into the Bible. Listen, when we talk about a Macedon war, let me give you the context of Amagedon. When you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, Amagedon war was only revealed, only one test. In the Bible, you will see the word Amagedon. And ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about Amagedon war, Amagedon war in, in Revelation chapter 20, for, ch chapter 16, I want someone to read for me quickly. I want to get you something clear so that you can understand the war we are about to actually understand. Tonight, I'm going to urge you to pray tonight. And whatever God revealed to me about individual, I will declare them. Somebody shall amen. amen. Somebody shall amen. amen. Young man, stand up. I'm going to pray for you. But let me finish my preaching. Eh? God bless you. Somebody give God a big hand of applause for the Lord. Amen. Quickly, fast, fast, fast. Fast. Which verse? Verse, verse 14 down to 16. Revelation chapter 16. Uh -huh. Verse 14. Yeah. For there are spirits of demons. Start from verse 13. Quickly, fast. And I saw three unclean spirits. I like saw three unclean spirits. Go ahead. Like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon. That coming out of the mouth of the dragon. Go ahead. Out of the mouth of the beast. Out of the mouth of the beast. Out of the mouth of the false prophet. And out of the mouth of the false prophets. Go ahead. For they are spirits of demons performing signs. For they are spirit of demons performing signs. Which go out to the kings. Go ahead. Which go out to the kings. Of the earth and of the whole world. Of the kings and of the whole world. To gather them to battle at that great day of God Almighty. To gather them to battle. To watch war on the great day of the Almighty. Go ahead. Behold. Behold. I am coming as a thief. Go ahead. Blessed is he who watches mm. and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Go ahead. For they gather them together. For they gather them together. To a place called in the Hebrew language. To a place called 
in the Hebrew language. Amagedon. Amagedon. Somebody say Amagedon. Amagedon. That is where, that is where the word, read verse 16 again. They gathered the king. And they gathered them together to the place. They gathered them together to the place. That is called in the Hebrew language. That is called in the Hebrew tongue. Amagedon. Amagedon. Somebody shout Amagedon. Amagedon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, take your seat. I'm coming up. That verse 16. We finish. Listen, let me give you understanding tonight while we are going to pray. The Amagedon war is a war in the kingdom, in the New Testament set world. It's a place where kings, where the government, demons and leaders gather together to wage war against the saints of God. And ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the close of the year. And ladies and gentlemen, let you understand, any time the year is getting to a close, there are powers in the air, there are powers, demonic way, they gather to make plans concerning the next year coming. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a season or a timing where believers or believers who are believing God, planning also believing God for greater height. It is a season that if you don't pray, the demons in the air, the demons and powers, they gather to make plans that 2023, that things will not go well for you. Things will not succeed for you. They will come against with a lot of ideologies. The plan in your family. And ladies and gentlemen, and that is why it's a war. Because we are also gathering here that whatever they are planning concerning you in the year 2023, you shall put them down tonight. Yeah. I didn't hear any. I said you shall put them tonight. Yeah. There are certain demonic powers. That is why in every year, when the year is getting to a close, there are certain meetings, powers are gathered to do it. Some of you sitting here watching me right now, there are meetings going on in your family. And they are picking some people, they are pointing some people, they say, this brother, next year, this is how we want this life to be. This is how we want this business to be. This is how we want this career to be. So the plan in every year, and ladies and gentlemen, I came in as a prophet of God to join the commanding commander that everywhere they are planning against you in this war, we are going to wage war tonight. 